In this tutorial, I will provide you with a six-step pre-launch course checklist. Using this checklist, you can ensure that your online course launch goes on without a hitch. Let's get started. Step 1. Create clear launch goals and learning outcomes. These goals and learning outcomes will ensure that you are kept on track and that the students have a clear idea of what the course is about. If your launch goals and learning outcomes are not clear or engaging, your launch will probably be unsuccessful because potential customers will have an unclear idea of what they are getting from your product. Step 2. Create a high converting sales page. Faulty or annoying sales pages will result in student dissatisfaction and cause potential customers to not take the course. The sales page is one of the best indicators of a course's professional abilities, so ensure that you have a high converting sales page that matches the level of professionalism you want to imbue from your course. Step 3. The next thing to check off your pre-launch course checklist is pre-selling and marketing your course. Pre-selling is the best way to ensure that your course is relevant to customer demands. Doing so will ensure that you do not waste your time on a course that does not sell. Make sure to pre-sell and market your online course using multiple promotional platforms and an email strategy. During this time, you want to release your learning objectives and offer sneak peeks of the course. These sneak peeks can come in the form of a sample video, handout, or cheat sheets. No matter what you choose to send with your marketing endeavors, make sure that they best represent your online course and establish your credibility. Step 4. Continue building your email list. Once you have confirmed that there is enough interest in your course topic, you should continue building your email list and marketing on other platforms. The second you stop marketing is the second that your online course fails. So it is important to continue building your email list and continually updating potential customers on the status of the course. This will keep the course fresh in their minds and generate a little bit of hype surrounding it. Step 5. Have a soft launch. Once you have everything sorted out, including the course materials and marketing, you should consider having a soft launch. A soft launch allows you to release your course to a restricted audience. The restricted audience can include friends and family, or you can offer it to interested students at a discounted price. A soft launch is very beneficial because it will increase the chances of pre-orders and give you the opportunity to find any site issues or content issues before your actual launch. Step 6. Work out the little details. During the soft launch, you probably found some minor errors or typos in your content. Now is the time to work out those details and perfect them so that your hard launch runs smoothly and professionally. If you do not take the time to work out the little details, your launch will be unsuccessful, and you may get a bad reputation as being unprofessional or uneducated in online courses. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.